What's up guys? Welcome back to another Steverville food review. Today we're at Burger King because they first made their Whopper impossible. Now they've made their breakfast impossible. Let's check it out. All right guys, here it is. This is the impossible Chris sandwich from Burger King. Uh, they did do this, uh, the impossible Whopper, you know, a little while back. That was all the rave. Everybody was going crazy about they, you know, the, the fact that they made this burger patty, all plant based, and they were, you know, like putting it up against the regular Whopper. And people were, especially in the commercials, like really going crazy about like, oh, I can't tell the difference. You, you can tell the difference. It is close, but you can tell the difference. Uh, so this is. Uh, course the cro the croissant sandwich the croissant sandwich you uh if, if you're not a, a croissant fan if that's not your choice of breakfast bun you can always get this with uh with, in the biscuit you can get a, a sausage biscuit now it, it is definitely not a vegan sandwich because as you can see it does have that egg on there uh the egg looks different than it used to from burger king i don't know if they've started using uh, I don't think it's fresh cracked, but they may have started using a better, a better brand, maybe a better uh, type of uh, egg substitute, or uh, maybe maybe it's real egg. It's just not fresh, fresh cracked. Uh, but anyway, so here is the that's the sausage patty. It has that sausage patty smell. I mean, it it, it really does smell exactly like sausage. I'm sure that has to do with the seasonings in it and uh, then it does have cheese on it So all of that makes it not vegan the egg and the cheese of course They're not going for that vegan sandwich. They're just going for an alternative to meat I guess they have something against Arby's. I don't know. Let's check this out All right, I mean I, like I, I really can't tell the difference between this sausage and the regular sausage I mean if you if you were to give me this and didn't mention anything I wouldn't know the difference I'm gonna get just a little piece of there's that sausage it has uh, it has the appearance it has the look it has the smell and uh, it has the taste when it's just by itself you can tell the difference uh, it has like a that that flavor you get from like vegetable chips like the, the uh, vegetable substitute chip snacks it has that vegetable flavor kind of in the in the, in the background kind of a uh, uh, just a leftover flavor uh, back notes of vegetables it, and the consistency is like way softer it doesn't uh, it doesn't have like that really hold together that meat usually has uh, but it's not far off the the flavors aren't like way out there uh, it's close it kind of reminds me of uh, the the texture kind of reminds me of uh, just like a really really cheap sausage maybe where they put soybean in it or or something like that but uh the first bite with the sandwich all together it, it was like really hard to tell the difference like I, I i wouldn't have thought that it was a substitute that it was a uh, plant-based i'm gonna another bite right here and uh and check that out one more time as the with the whole sandwich so definitely as the sandwich, the flavors of the sandwich, it, I mean, it, it really tastes just like one of the regular uh, sausage croissant sandwiches. And I think that just has a lot to do with just the fact of you got the croissant, you got the cheese and you got the egg. And then there's enough of the seasoning from the sausage to actually give it that full flavor of, uh, of a regular sausage. You can see like right up in there, you can kind of see some of the red pepper flakes i don't know if it's uh if it has the fennel if it has the sage 
I'm not really sure exactly what sp uh, spices they've put in the sausage to give it, you know, for their sausage flavor, but it does have the undernotes of sausage, but on its own, just the sausage itself, it has an aftertaste of uh, that, that vegetable aftertaste. So yeah, I think aftertaste of carrot, and that kind of gives you a good idea of what the sausage has by itself. Uh, but for an alternative, not too bad. One more bite will give this thing a rating. All right, the Impossible Chris Sandwich from Burger King. Uh, first, let me say, uh, price-wise, uh, I got it for free off the app. If you uh, if you purchased, uh, if you made a, a one dollar purchase through the app, you got the Chris Sandwich, the, the Impossible Chris Sandwich for free. Uh, so I got a cup of coffee for a dollar twenty-nine, and then after throwing in some Impossible tax, a dollar forty-one is what I paid total. Uh, but I. I did get it for free on the app. I'm sure it's still gonna be available for a while, uh, free on the app, so uh, if you wanna give it a try, this would be the best time to give it a try. That way you're not paying, you know, you're coming out of the pocket for, uh, you know, to try this sandwich. Uh, this is probably uh, the last time that I'll get this sandwich. It's just, it's, uh, I don't see any reason to, uh, to go with this uh, versus the regular sausage, regular, regular meat. Uh, you're not gaining anything uh, nutritional wise you're, you're not really getting anything off of that um, so for me I'm gonna say uh, the impro impossible Chris sandwich on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm gonna say that for me this is a 7 again not something that uh, that I'll go back for not something I'd get again I wouldn't say I'd recommend it or wouldn't wouldn't recommend it if you want to give it a try Give it a try again. Right now would be the perfect time. Get it on that app through the mobile app. Run through, get you a cup of coffee, and uh, get the sandwich free. Anyway, that's my view of the Impossible Chris Sandwich from Burger King. And with that, I say good day. Mm -hmm.